What is going on? My reefing fam, March here, Frag Box TV. Okay, this is a question I get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm not sure why you guys care, but people ask me all the time, what is my, my March, me, Frag Box owner and personal favorite coral? And I'm gonna show you today. It's right over here. Oh, hold on, timer going off. Sidetrack of the day. Can't do a video without a sidetrack of the day. It's right over here. Amazing coral, super, super rare, really hard to keep. Amazing coral. This is called a green star polyp. Not, that's not my favorite. I'm just kidding. March, you're so stupid. Okay, let me show you for real. Um, it's an LPS coral. Uh, it's hard for me to pick. You know what? It's hard for me to pick a favorite coral. Okay, I'm gonna say it's tied. Okay, it's hard to decide. There's a lot of corals out there that I hold near and dear. This is up there for me. Why don't we start with, why don't we make you wait? Why don't we tease you guys a bit? Um, this is up there for me. If you know what this is, it's a pipe organ. Absolutely love this coral. Look at this one over here. It's one of the few corals that comes in white and it does not mean it's dying. Typically white for a coral, bad sign. You don't want to see white. It's a sign of bleaching. Let me see if I can show you one. Hmm. Well, yeah, over here. These little save me mushrooms are five bucks. This is not, that's not a good color. They're on sale for five bucks. If someone wants to try and bring them back, uh, not good. Pipe organ. What other coral? Actually, what other coral can you find in white that means that's, that it can still be healthy? There's not, nothing that I can think of. Where did you find Oreos? Oh, mm, there's Oreos. Yeah, we like to eat here, Frag Box. Uh, Gorgonians? Yeah, maybe. Gor uh, Gorgonians? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Maybe a, a couple leathers on the lighter side, almost close to white, but, but tip, not white. Yeah. Not, white. Yeah, not like yeah. this, not oh, like pi pipe organ. Pipe organ. Yeah, that's, that's the one I was just talking about, pipe organ, yeah. So I really, really like pipe organ. Um, it's just cool, the way it grows, the way it comes out, I'm not sure why. It's up there for me. Second, second that's like a contender, and I was actually going to say it might be my favorite. I think it's because it's so nostalgic for me. It's one of the very first corals I ever kept going back to the 18th century because I'm an old fart now, uh, maybe 15 years ago, honestly, is Duncan coral. These are some branching, branching, sorry, Australian Duncan. What are you doing over there? I can't get it. Why did you just could you use one box? <laughs> What's wrong with this person? <laughs> Let me walk over to this side of the tank. Show you the Duncan coral. Sorry, man. I'm making a video while you're here. Sorry. You're gonna, you're fam YouTube famous now. Um, oh, if you're in the Toronto region and you're looking for some great pho, I'm gonna give you a plug. Where's the restaurant located? Five four six eight Dundas Street West. Oh, look at that. Five four six eight Dundas Street West. Our next frag box outing. So what we do here at the store. We like to. We work together. Yes. We also play together. So we go out sometimes after the store closes Friday, Saturday night. I will go bowling, we'll go play darts, we'll go to a bar. A lot of times, because we're all foodies, especially Jay, our newest member here. He's a big foodie, loves to cook. Um, we eat dinner together, so we'll order food to the store, or we'll go out, and we like to try new restaurants in the city, and just hang out outside of work. We're like a little work fam here, it's very important for us. And um, yeah, if you're looking for great food, check him out if you're in the Toronto area. That's, uh, that'll be the major side director today. And over here, Duncan Coral, yeah, absolutely love Duncan Coral super easy to keep and it was one of the first corals like i said that i ever kept and it actually did well i watched it grow i'm like oh my god this is so cool i'm keeping live saltwater coral and it's it's not the most exciting or most colorful it doesn't have a ton of variation it comes more or less than what you see here kind of like uh green greeny purple greeny purple blue i wish i had some bigger colonies to show you but that one's definitely up there some of my favorite coral of all time. Mm, this one's kind of close. This tank's going through some weird stuff. Actually, we're going to rip it down shortly and redo it. We're going to talk about that in another video, not today. So, uh, what else? Uh, Ghanipora, also up there. High, high, high contender. Ghani and Alviapora, really, really cool coral. If you've ever had trouble keeping these, I just uploaded a video on how to keep them. Oh, let me show you this quick one over here on the other side. Recently, recently for me, I've fallen in love with mushrooms. I was never into mushrooms. Um, not psychedelics, that's a different video altogether. We're talking corals here, come on guys, stay on track. But mushrooms, absolutely, I don't know, recently. When did I fall in love with mushrooms? Because when you started here, I didn't, because of you. Yeah. yeah, this one here, got me into mushroom, turned me into a vegan, you're rubbing off on me. No, no, no. Um, Ghani poor, I just wanted to show you this one over here. Very cool, little rainbow ghanis. But mushroom corals, I've recently just fallen in love with them. Easy, easy, I mean, as easy as it can possibly get if you need something to just take over your tank and they're cool, they're colorful, different varieties, there's Don't cheap ones, expensive ones. ones. Don't buy brown mushrooms? Why? What are you, coral? 
Your core, your coral list. You're like, no, you gotta, you gotta show, you gotta show brown. No, you gotta show brown coral some love. They all deserve love. Don't brag it, brown corals. She's right. I think it's gonna come down. I think I waited, made you guys wait long enough. This is gonna be. It's tied between two corals. It's Acanthus, Acanthostrea, lordowensis. But I understand. It has been reclassified. That's the question of the day. This is what I need to know. Okay, these have been classified. They were Acanthostrea lordowensis. Now they're called Micromusa. I've been doing this for a long time. For me, Micromusa is this over here. These are volcano Micromusas. These ones here. They're like, I used to think of them as mini acans. And then you have acans, which I love. And then you kind of have these ones over here that are like fat acans. They're bower bankies. Um, that's just the way I, I kind of think of them, like small and medium and fat corals, even though that's not scientific. Who decides the names of corals? Who decides that instead of being called this, we're actually going to call it that? I'm very ignorant when it comes to that. I like trying to learn the Latin names, but the origin of Latin names, I literally know th nothing about. So if somebody wants to comment below, we do read the comments. I love 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 these corals and for all intensive purposes i'm sorry i'm just going to keep calling them acans even though we call them micromusas i know a lot of the community still calls them acans i haven't seen any of our wholesalers from overseas change over the name on their list they still call them under the old latin name so until they're going to change it i'm going to leave them alone and these ones man the colors on these i wish i could show you them in person um this is i guess as good as it's going to get they are so much nicer then this camera is ever going to pick up. This one is crazy. This one is very nice. The pink. These actually, believe it or not, if you're following the channel, if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and do that now. I'm not sure why you wouldn't, but they were over there in that tank that went through our nice big heater disaster that I referenced. And I'm, I like have PTSD from this, huh? If you guys have been watching the channel, I have, I think I have PTSD from the heater explosion that killed everything in my very nice 90 gallon mixed reef here. It's like time for me has been divided between it's like before the crash and after the crash you know like before bc and, and ad i have that same um sort of feeling but it's like in relation to my disaster that i've caused over here in uh, in this tank but these actually all came out of that crazy crash and survived they've been chilling i think it's been two three weeks now since it happened um i guess we move fast this one probably gets the most attention in the store just because how unusual it is the blue the orange the red why do i love acans the colors for one the variation is crazy so i've been doing this a very long time and we are constantly constantly seeing new varieties come in every time we get a shipment i'm like a little crackhead child it's like oh my god show me the new acans um and then i go and i, I steal a frag of each individual one and dylan has I think been influenced by me in that regard because his tank, as you can see, the, his Aiken garden is just, just incredible, just fire, a little bit of every variety. This one down here though, as you can see, ah, oh, he's getting stung by this gorgeous Favia. It's like you almost can't even get mad because this Favia is just crazy. I don't know what it is, but that that one's got to get moved. But the cool thing with these sort of Aikens, with the exception of the Aiken Enchinata, you can group them together in these gardens. I think that's why I like them and they get fat and puffy they're easy to keep they don't grow terribly fast they're fun to feed so i feed them this over here i'm not trying to sell you this stuff i know you guys uh are not most of our customers are not even here in canada but if you can find it it comes from the uk originally i don't know if they're on bulk reef supply yet but if you can find it try and find this brand i really really like this stuff i don't eat it personally the corals do and they tell me because i talk to them they tell me they love it and then yeah just just awesome coral food so i'm going to say a cans for one for all the reasons I just gave you. Um, we have a video on how to keep them. If you go, we do these coral kind of spotlight videos on how to properly care for corals based on our experiences. Go back and watch that one. It's uh, I think it's called like the secret to keeping Acan. Second favorite coral has got to be zoanthids. That's really what got me into the hobby. I'm still a true just zoa complete nut. Hey, how's it going, man? Um, crazy, crazy about zoas. The varieties, unlimited. Colorful, small, easy to keep, fast growing, relatively inexpensive with little to no sting. They're not going to hurt any other corals. Let me see if I can find some nice varieties in here to show you. They just come in every color you can imagine. Some nice reds, uh, mixed patterns. There's some yellows, bow tie blasters. These ones over here. Ooh, spellbinders. These are cool. Very, very nice. So, Anthony, maybe a pally. Uh, we kind of use the names interchangeably, Zoa, Pali. This is cool when they do this. They kind of mix in between one another. Some people 
Uh, I guess bad experience with them because they can grow so tremendously fast. They're going to take over your rock. So Zoa Gardens or Zoa dominated tanks are quite common. Like this piece over here. Oh, let me see if I can show you past our dirty glass. Someone just traded in and it just, you know, a couple frags completely took over this 10 pound piece of rock. I think someone's actually coming to grab this on Friday. They grow quickly under the right conditions and they intertwine and they mix really, really easy to keep for those two reasons. I like easy corals. You know, I, I love keeping acro. Acro SPS, they have broken my heart in the past and uh, I'm a little bit shaded still. It's it's not that easy uh, depending on the species. For some reason, the harder, the more expensive one's harder to keep. I don't have very good luck with Home Wrecker, which runs about $750 for a quarter inch frag here in Canada. I've killed that a number of times. I guess it's just not meant to be, but it's gonna be a tie for this one. I'm sorry, I can't give you a definitive answer. It's gonna be Zoas versus Acans. Comment below, what's your favorite coral? Do you agree with me? disagree with me do you maybe you don't even have a reef tank maybe you're just watching this you're not even sure what this crazy guy from canada is talking about but i think we're going to wrap up this video and uh if you haven't already subscribed we do try to do a video every single day here in the store but thank you for watching this episode of fragbox tv